Nigga, I'll kill you, I'll chop you up, put you inside the mattress like drug money, nigga. <laughs> this is real talk, real story, right? I didn't know this nigga from Adam. And I heard Speed one day. I had a broke up MP3. I had three different versions of Speed, right? So I'm in the studio and I couldn't listen to nothing else for the whole day. So it just so happened that the dude that was filming the behind the scenes of Fade to Black was like, yo, I know the nigga that made that beat. I was like, yo, call him right now. I didn't know this nigga from word to mother from Adam. I was like, yo, son, I don't know who you are, but this shit is incredible. There's no way that you're in North Carolina by yourself making shit like that. I said, you have to come play shit for Jay. You have to. So what I do, I call this nigga. I said, yo, come to New York. I call Quest. I was like, yo, Quest, hit Jay and tell him about this nigga named Knife Wonder so that he understand what the fuck is going on, right? The same day that this nigga came up, Jay was like, yo, I'm supposed to be meeting some nigga named Knife Wonder. I was like, yes, you are, right? My homeboy comes and he had about four or five CDs with 99 beats on every CD. Right? So he get in there, he played Jay about 30 beats. Jay doing the face shit, you know what I'm saying? Blase, blase. He's like, yo, this nigga's the next primo. Right? So out of all them beats, Jay was vibing and vibing and vibing. But then he asked Knife, he said, yo, I got this idea for this threat shit with the R. Kelly shit. You think you can flip the beat? But he basically said it to him like, take that home and do the beat and come back. Knife was like, yo, hold on. This nigga broke out. Just a computer, no beat machine, no little pads, no none of that shit. Foodie loops, nigga. This nigga broke out a, a PC and in 20 minutes, this nigga handed me the headphones and was like, yo, what you think about that? I handed that shit to Jay like, yo, that's it. Jay was like, yo, let's go, record that. And that's the threat that you hear. This nigga's the fucking truth, man. Like, it ain't too many niggas that I fuck with like that, like wholeheartedly. This is one of them niggas, man. I will die for this nigga. Like, this is my brother for real. It ain't a lot of niggas in the industry that I really, really fuck with like that. This is one of them. You understand? This is like a gem. Like, the niggas like Pete and Preem and JD, you can start to put Knife in that same category, man. Because this nigga's output be killing me. Like, I'll call this nigga and be like, yo, niggas wasn't really fucking with the 10 that you sent. He be like, yo, give me an hour and he'll send me 20 more after hour like this nigga is the truth man on some hip-hop shit on some keeping the underground alive on some like really representing what the fuck we do knife one is the shit man y'all niggas need to recognize before this man died who he is and what he mean to the culture like the culture of hip-hop that's knife wonder y'all you won't be until i turn 85 thank you <laughs> <laughs> hold on i'll be nigga what what